the waters of Ghana are no islands. They are interlinked. They are connected to the whole ecosystem. A lot of the fish is traded globally, so if the ecosystems in West Africa were to collapse or get depleted, we will see the impact through the fish, global fish trade. About 50% of what used to be in the oceans and estimated to be there now. The population, the coastal population is increasing and, and there is a lot of demand for livelihoods to come through fishing. And in addition to them, increasingly we have foreign fleets fishing illegally because the countries actually don't have the means to monitor and control what happens in their waters. You know, fishing subsidies allow the European boats, make, makes it possible for them to travel all the way to West Africa to fish. Fishery subsidies are very simply payments from the government to the fishing sector. So these are payments that make fishing more profitable than it would be without them because their cost of doing so is covered by their government, by the EU government. And, and, and that is simply what happens here. The World Trade Organization are currently negotiating and talking about fishery subsidies to find a way to eliminate them, the harmful ones, globally, because that is the only way to do it. Otherwise, if one country removes their subsidy, and another doesn't, they have an advantage in the market and so on, so we, we need a global solution. The fish populations are going down, so you, you, you have more people trying to catch the fish, which is less and less available. This lack of fish leading to impacts on the livelihoods of families, fishing families, leads to lack of ability to pay for kids to go to school and therefore increase their possibilities and opportunities uh, is a big issue and re it, it reinforces the, the vicious cycle. And the Europeans in particular are aware of this. They have this huge problem of illegal migration from West Africa to Europe. Quite a bit of those people will be coming from coastal areas where the fish stocks have been depleted. People sitting in various parts of the world need to know a few things. And, and one of them is that we have oceans that are interconnected. So what happens in Ghana is not just going to affect Ghanaians, which means you might not get the food, the fish that you are eating now on your table anywhere in the world, in California or in China, wherever. We need to find a way to get people to pull back from their immediate instincts of going for the last fish rather than finding ways to, to rebuild. One of the things that a consumer, for example, can do is to try to find fish that comes from sustainable systems. And there are a, lot, a number of efforts globally, and the leader in this is the Marine Stewardship Council. They give certification. They do rigorous tests of the, of the fishery and if they believe it's sustainable, they give you a certificate which you can then use to market your fish. And so that will be one way of doing this. Another way will be for, for voters in, in, in the U.S. and rich countries to really have this as part of their many variables for electing candidates. So this is not a hopeless situation. If we decide to take action now, huge chances that the fish will come back and will get away from the current misery and move on to a more prosperous uh, future for the fishers and for the rest of us.